tell us your name? Kenneth Hurley Smith. Okay. What have you brought to Harvest today? I brought pictures of Sealands Grove, Susquehanna, Sealands Grove High School back in 1937, uh, Smoking Dam School Bell off the school that was built back in the 1900s, which is already tore down and made into a restaurant up at Hoss's Steakhouse. Uh, uh, money changers from BKW bus service, uh, Rowan Green Park stuff. If you don't know what Rowan Green Park is, but I have a lot of Rowan Green Park. It's, it was a 50 ways of fun here and almost war, like Canovas Grove, if you know what Canovas Grove is. Sounds familiar. What is Canovas Grove? It's an amusement park. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My first thing you want? Yeah. Okay, we only have like 10 minutes for your agent to give it to you. Okay, okay. you want to see them like this? Oh, you need to hold it up here. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so what is it? This is a class in 1937 yearbook. This was a yearbook in 1937. That's a yearbook? Yeah. <laughs> they were the first. They went to high school down on Pine Street at where the library is. The high school was built, but they never went to it. This class never went to that school. But they graduated, they walked across the stage. Mm -hmm. It was in the process of being built in 1937. How'd you come across it? Well, my uncle. I'm named, my uncle was in this class. This is my uncle right here. I'm named after my uncle. And he was killed during World War II. He was killed in 1943 and I was born in 1944. So, yeah, I was, uh, I found this picture in, uh, at a public sale, mm -hmm. you know. And you recognized him? Do what? Did you recognize him when you picked it up? Uh, I picked it up. I recognized a man I worked for for 40 years. Mm -hmm. I seen his picture, and then I started going over the picture, and I didn't realize my uncle and this man I worked for for 40 years mm -hmm. was in the same class. Yeah. yeah, you have to sit down and sort of study the picture and look at it. Yeah. I brought some beer signs which came from Water Street and Sealand Grove. They're beer trays. This one was left in the sun. The sun bleached it out. You can you can tell the difference. I wasn't sure if they were the same, but yeah, I guess the sun bleached. Yeah. You want to look at, it came from down on uh, uh, Water Street. There was a brewery in Water Street 100 years ago. Okay, so how'd you come across those? Clean the garage out. Wow. <laughs> e everything I, I come across, I come across and clean up along the street, dumpsters, people stuff that people throw away, mm -hmm. which is history to me. Yeah. Well, man, it's trash yeah. now. Uh, this don't mean much to anybody, wow. but this, <laughs> this was my hat that I wore as a young man. This is a belt buckle from 1937 class in 1937. I didn't want to take it off my hat. And that's from where? The Stevens Grove High School band belt buckle. Well, let's do like a close up here. Yeah, it's upside down. Uh, my uncle played, it was in the band in 1937 at Stevens Grove School. Mm -hmm. There were 17 band members and 40 some years ago I was out with my metal detector looking for coins and I found his belt buckle. But it's probably not my uncle, it's one of 17. So I did find that. This is my grandfather's, great-grandfather's Civil War wow. pin that 
he lived right here in Seons Grove, went to civil to the Civil War and came back. And uh, there's a lot of good pins on here. Here's German pins, Seons Grove, Seals pin of about 50 years ago and 40 years ago. It's just a hat that my wife wouldn't let me wear in public, but I wore it, <laughs> but I wore it when I wanted to. So what's your favorite pin? Huh? What's your favorite uh, I think my belt buckle. Yeah, awesome. yeah. my belt yeah. buckle. Did you like yes. put it on? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I would, that is awesome. But I wore this now 45 years ago, 50 years ago. So wow. I just, the reason I brought the hat because of the Civil War pin, I, my favorite pin probably is more so my grandfather's Civil War pin. So when you just find a pin, you just put it on? Yeah, I just pinned all my Hopalong Cassidy. I have, there's some real good pins on here that, that uh, can't be lost. Pennsylvania Railroad pin. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of, I just pinned them on to keep them so I know where they're at. top of the school. I probably threw too many rocks at the bell as a kid and this part was broke. This was a recess bell but this, this made the apple. This was all the way around. So when they tore the Schmuckenham schoolhouse down 40 some years ago to make a restaurant. Uh, I got the bell off to school. You just took it? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I I, paid the guy that was taking it down. I gave him a couple bucks for the bell. He didn't want it. He was going into the dumpster. Mm -hmm. I gave him five bucks for the bell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it broken when you got it? Huh? Was it broken when you yeah, got it? Yeah, there was two of them. Some guy stole one from me, from mm -hmm. here at Steelers Grove. That and had the full cover, mm -hmm. and uh, I bought two of them from the guy for five dollars, and uh, and when somebody heard me paying the guy, and he ran up and stole my bell clip. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's still living in Seals Grove yet, so maybe one day I'll get it back on his public sale or something. <laughs> Is that it? Uh, Here's a. A little book of Rowan Green Park. They had a pond with canoes. Where is it? Rowan Green Park. It was a 50 ways of fun here in Hummel's Wharf, Seals Grove area. Here's an aerial shot of it. They had Ferris wheels. Just a little book I put together, merry-go-rounds. Classic. And a bandstand, they had a big bandstand swimming pool, people at the swimming pool. I seen one guy out here, he was a lifeguard. I worked at Ron Green Park. Mm -hmm. My first job, 65 cents an hour. Wow. I worked in the park, then the second year I went over to the swimming pool to work, I made 75 cents an hour. I really came up, <laughs> that was making money. Mm -hmm. 65 to 75 cents, <laughs> and that's the truth. Wait, so what did you do there, you, you huh? lifeguard? No, I worked at the pool, but I wasn't a lifeguard, no. But one of the lifeguards I just said hi to, I hear he's here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. He kn he has a lot of Rowan Green Park stuff, too, I think. Okay, that's, is that all? I have a money changer that came from DKW Bus Company, which it ran back in the early 1900s from Sunbury to Seals Grove. And when you came on to the bus, you paid your money to get on the bus, and the bus driver had this on his on his belt here, mm -hmm. and then he gave you a change. Oh. If you. Is that money? Or? Yeah. Or yeah. It, it, let's see. Uh, quarter, dimes, nickels. Wow, I 
Yeah. 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 I I have it with my own money in here. Yeah. I didn't get it with money in. I got it with came off the BKW bus company line. And my one picture out there is from BKW. How did you come across that? Huh? How did you come across that? Uh, I worked for BKW for 15 years, and uh, it, when they closed the bus company up, they gave me pictures and different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. so you've seen a lot of changes in this area, then. Do what? You've seen a lot of changes in this area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of changes, yeah. Do what? How'd you hear about this history hacker that you're doing? Like, how did you know? How did I find out about it? Yeah. In the paper this morning, I read yesterday's paper and seen at 8 o'clock I start. I have so much stuff. I just. So you really found out about it this morning? Yeah. At, at 8 o'clock, I start getting stuff off the walls and, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't know what to bring and uh, I have. It's just. Mm -hmm. I have a museum of my own. Mm -hmm. At my own house. So you have more things like this at your house? Yeah, tons of stuff. 